Well, we do want to get you caught up on some other news happening today as we continue to follow an unsettling story out of Summit County where one family is mourning the loss of a loved one after an alleged deadly road rage incident. Police say the driver of a black Chevy Camaro is accused of shooting 40 year old George Jensen Wednesday evening. The two were traveling eastbound on I-76 near Route 21 in Norton when the shooting happened. Mm. And Carmen Blackwell spoke with the family today and is here with more now with uh, what we know about the investigation. Yeah, uh, you guys, the family's in good shape right now, just to give you all an update here at home. But can you imagine what this family is going through? I certainly couldn't. Well, police are still looking for the driver of that Camaro. And today I spoke with Tony Jensen, that's George's younger brother. He tells me that the family is pleading justice for Gio. That's what they called him. Tony tells me that the family is very close. They're still trying to process all of this. He says he knew something was off when he got a text from Gio's wife that he hadn't returned home from work. Yet an hour and a half had passed by, still no word from Gio. Tony told me that the family searched the internet for crash reports when they found an accident was reported involving a blue Mazda 3 on 76 East. Close family and friends rushed to be with his wife while they waited for police, who showed up to tell them that Gio was shot and killed on the freeway that he takes to get home. It really didn't hit till I got home that night, and that's when I lost it. You know, someday someone you know is going to die. We just never see it happening this way. Finding who did this to him and getting justice for Gio. Now, Tony also tells me that the family has been in contact with Norton Police, but still no updates on any suspects yet. Investigators say a few witnesses on the freeway that day have come forward with some information, so there are perhaps possibly some leads to come soon, but the family has set up a GoFundMe account to help pay for funeral service costs. We have that information for you up on our website at WKYC. Yeah, there's a lot of people are very upset about this. Yeah. Very, you know, it's it's nerve wracking. It's unsettling. So yeah. we'll hear more from Tony uh, in the five o'clock hour. And again, three news at six. We kind of break down what he says. Something that he says, Betts and Matt, is so powerful. He says, you know, we expect our loved ones to die someday, mm -hmm. but we don't expect them to go out like this. Yeah. And that really stuck with me. And the way the family found out, it's just yeah, it's just can terrible. you imagine? Yeah. I can't. All right, Carmen, thank you so much. You see you at five.